Snow Day by Werner Zimmerman. Something woke us early that morning. Maybe it was the silence. Millions of snowflakes drifted down. Everything was covered in a deep blanket of snow. Would it be deep enough? Would school be closed? We waited and waited. I was just about to drag myself out of the door when we heard the magic words. Snow day! My friends were already outside. We threw ourselves into the snow, making angels and catching flakes with our tongues. Mops did too. People were digging out their cars. The big kids were going to clear walks for the old people, so we grabbed our shovels and followed. But our way was blocked by a huge train pushing through the snow. It wouldn't give up and neither would our neighbor. We waved as the snowplow rumbled up the road. The grown-ups didn't. Mops just barked. After lunch, we headed for the park for hockey and tag. The old maple was home free. Mops didn't know who was it, so he chased everyone. He even chased a puck. Our fingers and toes were frozen and our pants were soaked from falling down, but nobody cared. On the way home, we passed fantastic snow blocks. We just couldn't leave them behind. They would be great for... Snow Fort. It had a roof and a flag and a tunnel for a door. It was the greatest snow fort ever. Mops helped. So did Mouse, our cat. Our faces were stinging by the time Mom called us in. She gave us hot chocolate. We told her about our fort. When our clothes were dry, we headed back out to build a monster slide. Mouse watched from the fence where it was safe. By supper time, we could hardly keep our eyes open. Outside, more snow was beginning to fall. Just before bed, we had one last look. Millions and millions of flakes were falling. We fell asleep hoping for only one thing, another snow day.